I'm Andrew. I'm Kevin. Welcome, Welcome to Brojax. <laughs> Yesterday, I impulse bought this 1967 uh, station wagon with the big woody sides, and uh, we decided to turn that into our weekend project. Right now, we're just putting together the shower curtain slash change room. Something like so. <laughs> but it doesn't feel quite as big in there now. Enough room to shower. <laughs> it was too small as it was, so I suggested we added another tube to make it a little bigger. And then we, we need two, two legs for it. Mm hmm It's getting pretty complicated now. It's not that complicated. It's two little legs. Why don't we cut this in half, and we'll try it with this. I feel like I should have saved the glasses <laughs> on first. And that'll be plenty of room. You'll actually be able to cover it. OK, like that. I'm just getting ready to sew up a shower curtain for the beach wagon. I'm just going to fold the material over and give the bar a place to go, and maybe put a couple uh, edges down the side so it doesn't fry. Kevin was up there sewing. It looked like he was about to go into a zen state doing that. Something about that machine, it's so relaxing and peaceful. Maybe it's like that noise or something, but uh, I had a really good time. Um, and my thing turned out pretty well. Too bad. There's plenty of room. So right now we're building an ABS plastic pipe solar heated shower for the top of the wagon. So it's just a bunch of black ABS pipe and we're cementing them together with elbows to make a U shape. The sun heats it up. On one end we have a nipple from a bike tube that we're going to pressurize the tube with. You pressurize it with a compressor and water comes out the other side. We should probably leave it to sit for a few hours anyway. This is what I'm doing for one to two hours. If we had a suction cup on a pole. Junior came up with this idea to use a plunger to stick the shower head so it holds over the shower. It's kind of sick to have a plunger. Well, it hasn't been used for a toilet. It's a brand new plunger. I understand that. The guy just doesn't get it. You know, used or not, it's kind of gross. And, and he just thinks these things are okay. He doesn't think about stuff like that. So, you know, he wants to have a toilet shower. I guess he's going to have one. How much water do you think it's going to hold? Uh. So we don't really know how many uh, liters of water this thing's going to hold. We didn't do the math yet. I'll take first shower, and I'll let you know what's, <laughs> what's left. No doubt you will. You're generous like that. <laughs> oh, it's mine. <laughs> this one's large. It'll fit me better. We're the same size, and that's mine. You're a little bit bigger than me, I think. No, I'm not. Well, not in the biceps. Exactly. Where's your, uh, where's your sleeveless one? <laughs> one little thing about the, uh, the shower curtain. It's such privacy. There's windows on both sides of the car. So you're totally covered from one side and totally exposed from the other. So we're going to have to get a little shade that hangs over the windows of the car for the public. I'm just about this wet suit. <laughs> I'm talking about this. It's been a while since I wore this, I guess. <laughs> Can't suck it in in a wetsuit. <laughs> okay, let's get another this quick. <laughs>